Hi guys, Dr. Sandra Lee here. You guys also know me as Dr. Pimple Popper. Today we're gonna talk about salicylic acid. Have you heard those words before, salicylic acid? This is a really common over-the-counter ingredient that we see in acne products. Let's talk a little bit about the risks and the benefits and whether it is something that is right for you. I know salicylic acid, the name sounds kind of strange. You know, it sounds like it's an acid, is it gonna burn your skin? What is this product? Well, actually, it's a naturally occurring chemical. It's called salicin, and it's extracted from the bark of a willow tree. What does salicylic acid do for us when we use it to treat as dermatologists? We use it because it is what's called a keratolytic. That means that it actually helps to encourage cell turnover, it helps to exfoliate the skin. If you've seen our All About Acne video on this channel, you'll have learned that our pores get clogged with oil, debris, dead skin, and bacteria. And this is really what starts acne. So by unclogging your pores with salicylic acid, it helps to sweep away this debris, sweep away this oil, and destroy this bacteria, and therefore, hopefully your acne gets better or is prevented in the first place. How strong should my salicylic acid product be? Well, over-the-counter salicylic acid products probably range in strength from 0.5% to 2%. Irregardless of how bad your acne is, start off on the lowest dose. That would be my best advice because, you know, if you get dry from something or something irritates your skin, you usually don't want to keep using it no matter what. So really starting off on the lowest dose and moving up slowly is really best for everybody. How often should you use a salicylic acid product? Well, I would really tell my patients it's really on an individual basis. Don't pay so much close attention to the instructions on a bottle saying that you must use something once a day or twice a day. Really pay attention to what your skin says. I and mean, if you feel like you've been using it a few days and you're getting a little bit dry or a little irritated, back off on it. Don't use it every day. Use it every other or every third day. Really pay attention to the other products you use when you add something like this because you may need to adjust things if you get a little dry and you used to not get very dry at all, you know, you might need to add a moisturizer to your regimen. So all these sorts of things, you gotta think a little when you use these things and make little tweaks in your, in your regimen to make your skin feel wonderful. Another suggestion I have is if you're a first timer, I really suggest using a product that is more of a spot treatment product. Something that you can really place in specific areas on your face. And this is because you use less of the product and you get to save some money. You are not treating a whole face and not having a potential negative effect from it, maybe peeling or discomfort or even a rash. So you're really testing it out in an area and making sure that it works first before you were to apply it to your whole face. Make sure not to start many new products at the same time. Like if you were to suddenly start five different products that really can dry your skin or really treat acne, you're probably gonna get really dried out and think that you know all these products are terrible, when in fact you would have done really well with two or three of them. Also, be very careful to avoid areas on your skin that are already red and irritated. You don't wanna apply a product, like an acid product, can you imagine, on an area that's already red and irritated. It's probably gonna sting, it's probably gonna burn, and you're probably not gonna like it. So here's the bottom line. I think salicylic acid is a fantastic product, but there are many more acne products out there, and it may not cut it for the amount of acne that you have. It may not be the, the answer to all your acne prayers. So really remember that that's what us dermatologists are here for. This is our job, this is what we do. We look at you and we evaluate your acne and there's hundreds of different acne medications, whether over the counter or prescription to choose from and we really want to work with you to make your acne better.